Hi and welcome to another Essential Lightroom video. In this quick tip I'm going to take you through and show you a great way of working with either HDR type shots or anything you use to take multiple shots simultaneously. So if you're bracketing for example or you're creating a panoramic, this is a quick and easy way of working with that with Lightroom. So let's take a look at how we can do all of that now. I was out recently shooting some HDR based shots and one of the things I find is that I don't tend to sort of mark much in the way of which is the start shot, which is the end shot. And I might well do a couple of different bursts simultaneously so I'll have next to no gap between them. Well that can be a little bit problematic when you load those into Lightroom and you want to make sure you've got the right images to combine for your HDR. Same kind of goes if you're dealing with the panoramic. So there's a great way of dealing with that very quickly and easily inside Lightroom. What we're going to do is we're going to come to the photo menu and we're going to come down to stacking. Now inside stacking we've got a range of different options but the thing I'm looking at for this particular example is auto stack by capture time. Once you select that you can see you've got a slider that allows you to choose the time zone in between each of the shots that you've taken. So in other words if you're taking a burst so you're going to take those within the space of a second or two well you can simply use this to create very very short bursts. So you can see as I slide this up It'll show me the time that I'm working on. It'll also tell me the number of stacks and how many unstacked images would be created if I choose that at that time. So for example, I know that I was shooting these with about a two second difference at its most. So I'm gonna take that down to two seconds. You can see it now gives me 20 stacks and five unstacked. Click on stack and you see nothing really happens. Apart from the fact that any images that are combined as part of that stack, if we take our mouse over them, you see in the top left hand corner, it'll tell you five of seven, four of th six, or something like that. So you've got a visual indicator, but that doesn't stack them together, which you kind of think it would. To do that, we need to go back up to the photo menu and back down to stacking, and then what we can do is we can say we want to collapse all stacks or expand all stacks. If we say collapse all stacks, you'll see our images now combine into those groups and we've got a lot less images inside the catalog view. So we've got a quick and easy way of being able to group those together. Now this is where it gets really cool. That's great, you can combine these, but normally when you're dealing with a HDR or a panoramic, you have to select the entire range of images you want to combine and then go through the process of combining them. When we stack them like this, we don't need to do that. We can simply right click and what we can do then is we can come in and we can say photo merge, HDR or panorama and it'll automatically go through and use the images inside that stack to create either the HDR or the panoramic. So very quick and easy and it's a great way of being able to sort of work in a much more intuitive fashion inside Lightroom. And that's all there is to this quick tip. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. If you need comments, questions, or anything we cover on this channel or for this video, please pop those in the comments.